WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. I think the severe threat is mostly in the next hour, maybe an hour and a half to two at most. And the, the main threat is damaging winds. We're getting numerous reports of roofs down around Holtwood. A number of roofs come uh, being blown off of homes. We also had some reports in, in York County of some uh, significant structural damage. Uh, News 8 is, uh, is heading out to, uh, to investigate that. Also, a lot of heavy rain with these storms, large hail, and the possibility of spin-up tornadoes. We had a tornado warning earlier. Good news, Western counties, they've dropped you from the watch. The watch continues till 9 o'clock in Eastern counties, though I think some of the counties like Berks and Cumberland, or excuse me, Adams and Cumberland will start to get dropped. The heaviest is right now coming in through Lancaster County and kind of see that arcing shape. We call this a bow echo. It's, it's what it is, is severe winds uh, pushing out. We saw we saw a shelf cloud on a Lancaster Sky Cam earlier. Uh, there is that tornado warning that is up until uh, 645 over toward the uh, Coatesville area. This is the tornado warning uh, for Chester County. Uh, that's moving out of our viewing area. Here's a live look from Lancaster Sky Cam. It was just teeming just a couple of minutes ago, starting to let up a little bit. But with that thunderstorm in 83, the dew point at 73. I got up this morning, I saw the clouds, I'm like, oh, may not get all the instability, but as soon as that sun came out with those dew points in the 70s, we had the moisture, the sun came out, heated things up, so we got the steam and now we have the storm. So still an alert period, the next, I'd say two hours, just be on guard, especially in uh, Lancaster, Berks, uh, uh, Lebanon, and also over in Chester County. A severe thunderstorms, wind damaging thunderstorms, a possibility. Still gonna be a few showers and thunder showers a little later on this evening, and they'll end overnight tonight, a little sticky. Tomorrow, turning less humid and breezy too, with a west northwesterly wind, 10, 20 miles an hour. Go feel a lot better tomorrow. Could be that stray afternoon thunder shower around. Uh, 88 are high today, 74 the low. Uh, that's on the muggier side of things. Just about a quarter of an inch officially. Here are the temperatures. Now, we've cooled it down because of the rain. Still in the 80s, near 90 over toward uh, the Philly area. Let's pull on out. You can see the warm air coming up the east coast. Cooler, drier air off to the west of us. Look at the dew points. 50s back in Chicago and Detroit. Feels fine. That's what's going to get here, part of that anyway, for tomorrow. But you can see all the moisture coming right up the east coast, and that's what fired up these storms. That was the fuel uh, for the fire. You can see the line. This is the intense line. And again, that's going to be through pretty quickly. Out ahead of it, they have tornado watches up now all the way from the Skyline Drive into South Jersey up into New York. It's in advance of this system. That front's going to come through overnight. And again, just a few showers with it, but we'll be behind the front tomorrow. So it's going to feel a lot better out there. High pressure gives us a couple of pretty decent days. Can't rule out a stray shower tomorrow afternoon, but the chances of rain are pretty slim. And those dew point temperatures are going to start coming down. So what's that mean? And a little sticky tomorrow, but feeling better, comfortable by Wednesday, Thursday. We're back into that steamy stuff. So, yeah, that's our next chance of some showers and maybe some thunderstorms on Thursday. May get a break Friday into Saturday, but there could be a few thunder showers around even going on into the weekend. Nothing extreme in terms of temperatures or humidity, though, right on into early next week.